Hi, welcome to PerformaCast episode six. I would like to talk about the benefits of the exercise ball or stability ball. Before I get into the physical benefits, the performance benefits, or the and the mental benefits, I'd like to start with the ball itself. The ball is round, it's inflated with air, and absorbs the gravity. Absorbs gravity. So what does that mean? It means that you're able to train with very little impact on the joints, which is unbelievable. You can control the amount of pressure or body weight you put on the ball simply by changing the angle, walking out more forward, depending on what exercise you're doing, and you can control it. So you're basically getting all the benefits with very little risk. Of course, if you do try something stupid by jumping on when you're not ready, then you can fall and hurt yourself. But the whole purpose is to actually prevent or reduce falling and injury. So let's talk about a few physical benefits of the ball. First of all, the ball gives you a lot of stability. That means that you're building up all your small stabilizers and that you're building a solid foundation. It's improving your core, which is based on many different muscles in the center, and as well as the small stabilizers in the shoulder, knees, ankles, joints. So that's the first real benefit is uh, stability and core. Secondly, it improves balance. Because it's round, and it's a movable object, you have to react to those micro movements while you're on the ball, which is actually helping all your small fibers strengthening and communicating with your brain to react quicker, which we'll get into performance benefits in a moment. It builds strength, which is a huge benefit on the ball. People don't realize that you actually can build strength and power by creating different workouts by explosiveness. You can do many different explosive workouts on the ball, which builds power. And with the unstable environment, you can build strength just like any training program. You're working those muscles. With the ball, your muscles in the beginning are shaking, natural shaking, which is good, which is strengthening all those muscle fibers. So when you're doing a push up with your hands, on the ball, that what happens, and your full body weight, your muscles start to shake. When you, for example, kneeling on the ball, your knees start to shake in the beginning, building up all those small stabilizers in your legs. And that's what's happening, you're bulletproofing, you're strengthening and bulletproofing your body so that you're not just working on this big global muscles like the biceps and chest and quads and glutes. You're working on all those muscles, interconnected muscles that you don't really hear about. Along the rotator cuffs, the deep core muscles inside, your adductors, so many different muscles that the ball is, you're forced to work, otherwise you basically fall off. Then we're going to of course, it's in, you know, in terms of fat loss and um, improving your body structure, it goes without saying. Why? Because you're burning off many more calories because you're working so many more muscles while you're on the ball. It's forced to work more muscles just to keep you on the ball. So you're actually burning a lot of, you're burning fat while you're on the ball. And that's, stays hours after the workout, actually. Of course, you know, nutrition, as I said in the last episode, is vitally important to work with in favor of building the ideal body that you want. That's longevity and healthy and sustainable. So those basically are the physical benefits that you see on the ball. Now let's talk a little bit about the Performance benefits. Okay, so performance benefits, you're improving your reaction time. 
And what does that mean? When you see the ball or the ball's coming or you have to react just much quicker, the ball forces you to, those micro movements force you to react quicker. So you're a lot more alert or you're a lot more able to react that much quicker, which can play a huge role in preventing, preventing, preventing falling and really hurting yourself and injuring yourself through any age. Or it can help you score that winning goal or try or whatever the case is, or catch the ball or be able to just react to whatever object is thrown at you, dodge, catch that much quicker. It gives you a lot more power, again, with the strength and muscles. Of, you're able to throw better, swing better, whatever sports performance, take down better, react better to your opponents, which is unbelievable. And it gives you the edge because a lot of people don't really know how powerful the ball is. They just see the ball at the gym and they think that, you know, no, it's easy, it looks easy, or it's for older people or for a certain segment, which it is, it's great for all of them, but they don't realize the power of the ball and what enhanced performance it comes. So it keeps you out of injury for longer, reduces injury, which means you're able to train, be more consistent. By that, you're able, because you're more consistent, and it means you're able to affect or enhance or progress your performance on a continuous basis with less risk of injury, injury from the actual sports or whatever the is you playing so that's huge who why, who doesn't want that the agility it's there you're able to again it goes with through a reaction time the agility improves your speed actually improves as well why because you're more efficient you're more balanced so you're really working those muscles that's pushing you and the rest, you're able to keep quite stable, even with the movement with the arms swinging or your legs um, running, you're able to improve power and speed, which is a huge uh, bonus with performance. And again, it, it enables you, in terms of performance, it builds up those small shock absorbers, well, you know, to big shock absorbers, so the joints, surrounding the joints, so that you're not... For running, for example, you are not actually hitting your joints constantly and you are hitting your joints, but you have a lot more safety and precaution with the bigger shock absorbers that you're developing with this type of training. Now, let's move on to sustainable benefits. Again, it's got almost zero impact, so it becomes sustainable. You're able to train for much longer without getting injured. It's longevity-based training. So your age doesn't really matter. It keeps you young. You feel good. You feel a lot better. It's sustainable by progression, by, you know, by training your body, involving new neural pathways to your body and improving your movements without pain. It takes And it's, again, the ball gets rid of your back pain, your joint pain, and that's huge when it comes to sustainability um, and longevity. You have quicker rehabilitation and healing. Why? Because when you, if you are, if you do get injured, or if you do, if you are, you know, you've got a little bit of a niggle, and you train on the ball, what happens is you're getting more blood flow into those muscles, which promotes healing quicker because. The ball's able to be working at so much more deeper level, so you're able to heal that much quicker, which, again, is a huge advantage on any basis, um, sports performance, just uh, working, recovery, not focusing on pain, which is huge. And it's also preventative. So, again, it will prevent you. It uh, helps with reduced injury. So not being in that in the first place, just strengthening and investing your, your own body, which is, again, amazing. It's, again, benefits uh, for pre- and postnatal pregnancy, which is so good for pregnant women. 
It's good for older, elderly people who lose balance and who want to regain a bit of a balance to prevent falling. Falling is actually the number one cause of death for older people. So it's important to, you know, if you want a healthy, quality, longer life, to actually invest in your balance and, uh, you know, and train on the ball, which forces you to improve your balance and reaction. Let's talk about some of the, the focus, um, the mind benefits, where, you know, it helps get into the flow. When you're in on the ball and you're so focused, time just stops. You're in flow. And when you progress and you're able to, like, actually progress that movement, there's a lot of dopamine that comes into your brain, which makes you, that feeling of euphoria, that makes you feel that you're actually getting and doing something, which is unbelievable. You're feeling like, wow, this is amazing. So that's another huge benefit in terms of keeping you motivated to keep it to in terms of keeping you consistent. The fun factor, because you're not, it's not a static way of training. You're moving, you're challenging yourself, your mind, your body. It's fun. So that means it becomes a lot more sustainable, especially in the long run. You're able to keep up with it in the long run. And it helps with your focus. It improves you. you have to focus on the ball, otherwise you again you fall off. So just imagine your know, sports, whatever you're playing, the benefits of that when you keep focused, you're able to score again, you're able it ties into everything. You're able to drive and not have an accident, you're able to focus, you're able to improve your work by just focusing. Focus is huge, it's hugely important. And then with the ball, it helps you improve your creativity because you're creating new, you, you're learning new exercises and it forces your brain to be creative, creative and helps you with every other aspect in your life. As well as, of course, when the ball, when you're training on the ball, not just creativity you are, are, are it's helping you with, but again, with um, your focus involved, and plus thinking out the box um, and forcing you getting out of your comfort zone, which is huge. The ball's taking your body out of your comfort zone and the magic happens where the, where, when you step out of your comfort zone. And it, it's just, it's a nice process of flow again, of getting yourself and opening yourself to new experiences, which enhances quality of life and improves brain, brain cognitivity as well as performance cognitivity. So these are just, there are so many other benefits, uh, direct and indirect, but these are the main benefits that's on the ball. And that's huge. Sitting on the ball, for example, instead of a chair, huge benefits. Again, which we have discussed in the previous episode, makes you want to eat healthy. Again, discussed in other episodes. So, I'm going to wrap this podcast up with a summary of the benefits of the ball and why it's so good for you. But just make sure that the ball is the right size, good quality, so it doesn't counteract the benefits. Pump inflated to the correct size, very important. So you get the most benefits. And of course, being able to know what you're doing on the ball. And that's why I have a lot of programs, online programs, that can get you started from any level which you will see amazing benefits from getting rid of back pain to enhancing performance, to enhancing physical benefits, physical body, to enhancing your focus benefits, your focus benefits and sustainable, sustainable benefits. Until next time, see you.